The Trump administration has formally notified the United Nations of its decision to withdraw the US from the World Health Organization, breaking off ties with the global health body amid the expanding coronavirus pandemic. The US has accused the WHO of siding with China on the outbreak of the virus, which originated in the Chinese city of Wuhan late last year alleging the health body misled the world, resulting in deaths of over half a million people globally. People in Mumbai can now test themselves for coronavirus infection at designated private hospitals without any doctor's prescription, according to the BMC. This decision has come as a big relief for several citizens who want to get tested for coronavirus but don't show symptoms. Earlier, only patients with symptoms and a doctor's prescription were allowed to get tested. The World Health Organization on Tuesday acknowledged evidence emerging of the airborne spread of the novel coronavirus after a group of scientists urged the global body to update its guidance on how the respiratory disease passes between people. India is witnessing increased instances of industrial accidents in the last few months as factories have started to come back to life after an over-month-long complete lockdown in March and April. Since May, more than 30 industrial accidents have been reported in the country that have led to the death of 75 workers and injuring over 100 others. In a letter to the Prime Minister, Industrial Global Union has warned of recurring instances that indicate a pattern of prolonged lapses in safety, regulations and inspection and has asked for a thorough review. ICICI Bank plans to reward more than 80,000 of its employees for giving services during the coronavirus pandemic. The country's largest private sector bank has decided to give a salary hike of up to 8% to more than 80,000 of its frontline staff. It amounts to over 80% of its total workforce. The hike is for FY21 and applicable from July onwards. The development comes at a time when companies are slashing employee salaries to contain costs amid the crisis. The Drug Controller General of India has directed the department officials in states and union territories to keep strict vigil and prevent the black marketing of COVID-19 treatment drug Remdesivir, following complaints of the medicine being sold above the maximum retail price to the public.